the heck was that? <laughs> oh man. It's already started. All right. So I was about to say it kept uh, blighted chain. It wasn't replacing blighted chain number on the name up there. It was staying at Gar Station, but it just replaced it. So cool. Gotta love those achievements you get for being in a warfront for the first time. Let's see if we can blow this guy up. Precision bolt dot. Let's go ahead and ethereal beam. Come on, come on, come on! Ah, oh, man. See, look at that. I am pretty much 100% bolstered right now. And I was hitting that dude for 10,000 a tick. So, Ethereal Beam is blowing everybody up in PvP right now. You'll see lots of Vulcanists running around. So, yeah. It's gonna be crazy. Uh, look at this. This guy here, he, uh, this elusive unicorn or whatever, he seen me in a conquest match and I, I was on my prime list. I was changing around the buttons and he seen me just stand there so he got me kicked out of the conquest raid. Graham got kicked out of a conquest raid because I was standing there changing around my buttons real fast. So I hope I see his name on my kill list quite a bit. <laughs> That's a good thing about PvP. If somebody uh, does something against you, you can kill them. So it's so much nice. It's so much nicer than doing like PvE or something where somebody ticks you off and they just they leave your group and let you die or something like that. They they always get revenge on you and you can't get them back. Whereas in PvP, you can get somebody back. Ah, oh, that guy line of sight of my ethereal beam. Dang it. I shouldn't have cast it right there. I, I'm getting too kill happy here. I, I'm thinking I'm going to blow everybody up. Because that's just how Vulcanus is. Now mind you, it's got this insane ethereal beam burst. But it doesn't have much for utility. I mean, you basically got a root and an interrupt. And that's all you have. So... But man, I can't imagine being geared out on this character. If I gear out this character and hit people with that ethereal beam, oh my gosh, it's going to be insane, man. Alright, let's try to find another target here. I think I just let that flag carrier run right past me. Maybe. I'm not sure. But. Oh, it's you! Oh, too many people! Too many people! Oh no, and there's somebody behind me hitting me. Gosh, man! Hey, look how fast I blow up. Man, that's just... That's just gear for you right there. It, it is... Man, I take so much damage. It's crazy. See, I... Uh, this spec is like a glass cannon anyway and so whenever you go out there and you you start fighting people you got to really try to avoid getting hit but whenever you don't have gear it makes it so much worse gosh i mean the guy just hit me with one little button right there and did fifteen thousand damage to me it's craziness Okay, let's... Uh, he's going to jump off. He's going to jump off. But yeah, I mean, every attack somebody hits me with, it's like 20, 30,000 damage a lot of the time. Oh, man. Somebody knocked him off. Or did he jump? I don't think he jumped back. No, he's a freaking Arbiter. I don't think they have a lead back. So, now this, this here is bugged. This uh, beacon of the Drake. Now that it is hitting me, even if I die afterwards, it'll continue to hit me. After uh, I mean, I'll be on the platform, 
And it'll continue to hit me, and I mean, it'll hit me for 5,000 a pop. The Beacon of the Drake is insanely weird right now. And it's another Vulcanist skill. Another Vulcanist skill. Vulcanist is so good right now. And I was telling you guys in my uh, uh, Primalist Thoughts and all that that Vulcanist was the funnest for me. Uh, Vulcanist and, uh, what was it, the... Uh, the, uh, the AOE mage. can't believe I can't think of the name right off hand. But, it's because they have a... It's not as clunky of a build. It, it, uh, a, of a spec, so to say. It does... It, uh, you gotta step back on the, on the ramp here. That's a line of sight just stepping back on the ramp. If you guys don't know that. But like the Dervish and even like the Berserker and stuff, it just feels so clunky for some reason. Man, they do so much damage to me. See, look at this tick. Oh no, uh, I'm dot up. Okay. So, alright. That wasn't Beacon of the Drake. I was about to show you guys uh, how it keeps damaging me, but no, that was people actually putting dots on me. But yeah, Beacon of the Drake, if you get hit by it and then you die and you're on the platform, as soon as you get resurrected, it'll keep hitting you. So keep that in mind. You know, try to get back into the fight ASAP after you die. Because if you don't, you're going to get eaten up by the Beacon of the Drake. Alright, this guy completely got left alone. I imagine a lot of people are getting on that ramp and not even realizing it's a line of sight. The, uh, it looks like by the way that they're moving they're not even using it as a line of sight, but it is. So, so if somebody's like streaming an ethereal beam on you and you're standing right beside that ramp, just step back on the ramp. It'll break the line of sight. Alright. See, I don't want uh, see that big mob of enemies that just was down there. I, I don't want to. I don't want to engage people like that. I can't take a hit. So they're flag running right now, but there's nothing I can do about it. Save your. Because I, if I go down and fight them, man, instant death for me. It'd just be suicide, no matter what. Because all somebody has to do is hit me, like, just with one ability, and it doesn't even have to be their burst, and it's going to hit me for, like, 15,000 damage. So. Uh-oh. Should I blow him up? Oh, what happened? Oh, he interrupted me. Okay. Never mind. Yeah, I'm playing with fire going into that whole group, so let's get out of there. I don't purposely kill myself. Which if I would have kept on fighting there, I would have. So our guys have it three capped. Not bad, not bad. Uh, hear my squeaky seat. Killing spree. <laughs> Need to WD-40 that or something. Alright, so... Seems like my whole team is on the south end. Oh, don't be hitting me while I'm viewing the map. What is wrong? Uh, two people. Uh, I gotta get out of there. They are just doing too much damage to me. Oh my gosh, and they chased me. Did both of them chase me? Yep. I take too much damage, man. And, and the thing is, is I need to change around my mastery too. I don't have the healing mastery for level 65, and I went with the DPS one because I wanted to run it some. And see, it would have been so nice to jump off that platform and hit my heal right then, because I would have heal healed up quite a bit. I probably would have died still in that situation. But if just one person had jumped down after me, then you never know. I could have turned around and burst them down or something after I healed up. But right now, I, I don't have a heal. And it's, it's killing me, <laughs> literally. So, 
Oh, big fight up there. And Beacon of the Drake. Oh, dang it. I'm targeting the wrong things. Get this precision ball. Get my damage increase up. Burst, 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 burst. Ah. Ran off the platform. But man, if he would have stood there and got eaten up by that ethereal beam, game over, man. Alright, let's go into this. Whoa, I don't want to go out there. I want to keep my line of sight right here. Ah. Oh no, we got heals. We got heals. I'm going in. I want to kill you, man. Oh, it knocked back. Man, it turned me around too. Look at that. But you are going to die, sir. I want your name on the killed by. Boom! Gotcha. Kick me out of a conquest group again, buddy. <laughs> Oh man, that was hilarious. It was funny to me. Probably not funny to you guys, but I like getting revenge. Man, this person's just standing right in the middle of the nuke zone. Bad move, man. Bad move. See, this guy is playing smart. He, he was back here, but he's not running away, so that's not smart. But... You see how he was standing back there to where he isn't going to be targeted by everybody? Uh-oh. They got our central node here. We're going to have to take it back. Whatever you do, don't hit me. Don't hit me. Ah. Uh, that's such an effective thing, man. Whenever people use the knockbacks on these platforms, it's such a good thing. Such a smart move. So if you're like a marksman or something, make sure you're using your knockbacks on this. Because that took me out of the fight. Oh, 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 look at that. 10,000, 10,000, 9,000, 6,000. Gosh, man, the damage. I cannot take a hit. Oh, my gosh. I get... They ch he chased me. He chased me. I guarantee he hit me for like 50,000 damage right then. And I got 63,000 hit points. I got blown up. Life of an undergeared person, but that's why we're here. To gear up the guy. We're going to get gear eventually. Man, every person I'm using my ethereal beam on gets, gets knocked off the platform or it is right at the moment that they're jumping off. It's bad timing, man. Or bad luck, should I say. It'd be one thing if I could predict if they're about to jump off or something, but... Not getting away from me! <laughs> I know I'm godly. Oh, it's nice to have a name like that up on my... Kill list. Are you gonna stand there? Just gonna eat the damage? Yep. I guess he was rooted or something. He wasn't moving. Defend. Killing spree. Oh. Let's chase this kill here. And see, look at this guy. He's taking on what four people? By himself? Alright, he's got help now. But he's dead now, so... Okay. Uh, looks like we're gonna win this one. Nice! Nice, nice, nice. I need the gear, <laughs> so I want the wins. All right, so I went seven and three. And normally I wouldn't post a video like this, but I think I'm going to because it was a fun match.
I got to blow some people up, and I got blown up, so that's how it goes. Let's look and see if we get any loot. Oh, a greater essence. My very first thing is a greater essence. Nice. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. As usual, my name is Grim. I'll see you next time.